Do you have students who are reluctant to talk to you in your online classroom? How do you get them to engage and warm up to speaking to a teacher in a virtual class? Hi, I'm teacher Stephanie from teachingstephanie.com and teaching Stephanie on Instagram. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about class icebreakers you can use to get those kiddos to warm up to you and to start speaking and engaging in your online classroom. Let's be honest, most of us don't even want our camera on, on a Zoom call, on a meeting, let alone you're willing to answer questions in front of the whole group. This is totally different from in-person learning where you can sense the warmth of a teacher and her kind heart. It's incredibly intimidating for these kiddos. They gotta jump in in front of a grown-up and they're expected to just answer my questions without a little bit of fun or kindness shown first. So let's try to do that. In this video, I wanted to share a few icebreakers that I use to help my students. Before I jump into these techniques, first, let me say why I use them. I use them to take a role in my classes, especially without school. This helps me to check that the right students are in the right classroom and I can see who is missing. I also use this to check that their technology is working, um, such as their camera, their mic, their internet. Second. It helps to get to know them personally. Building rapport with my students has been the biggest part of my success as an online teacher. I can use what I learn about them later on in other class material or to promote one of my other classes that they might like. But the biggest reason why it leads to my success is because they come to know that I care about them and I care about their success. I want them all to do well and that starts with getting to know them. Third, it helps them warm up to answering questions, um, especially to a stranger. I'm not going to lie. I am the person in the Zoom meeting that just wants to keep my mic on mute, my camera off, and just sit back and listen. Doing these icebreakers stops any multitasking in the background, at least for a minute, and engages them right away and gets them used to talking with me through a screen. Now, let me share what some of these things I do to break the ice are with my students as an online teacher. First, I get to know about their day. I usually ask if there was anything exciting that happened to them. This is usually something easy for them to answer right away. One brave soul will usually be bursting to share about her sleepover and that sparks another learner's day with his dog. And I allow this for a few minutes to let each student share. I also like to start class with a review of the last class or a quick overview of anything they might need to know before we start the lesson. So for example, in my multiplication class, we review the homework page and the facts from the day before. In my mythological creatures club, we share pictures that we created from the last week of creatures that we talked about. Now, the real problem happens if no one pipes up. That's when I jump into some icebreaker questions. I used a few of them when I was just starting out without school and I started writing them down. Um, I started saving them. And as I got more and more regular students that I needed to learn more and more about, I have used these with all of my fluent VIP kid students. And now I have a whole set of really great questions for getting to know your students too. I love using these at the beginning of class to learn more about my kids. I have also used them to fill time at the end of class to learn more about the students, build that rapport, and this can come in handy when you have a student who is being a little disruptive and you can throw a fact about one of his or her interests to bring back their attention back to class and to get their interest. Hey, Jonathan, are there any Pokemon that are like unicorns? Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm so glad you said that. Hey, Sarah, have you ever used making an array like in multiplication in Minecraft? In this deck of cards that you can download in the link in the video description box, you will get a set of 52 questions to ask your students. Um, you will also get a few ideas on how to use this deck in a few different ways um, in your online class. It is made into suits and colors 
um, so that you can use it in games or things you're doing with your class. My students have loved these and parents rave in my class reviews about my personal approach to teaching these students by learning more about them. I know that yours will too with the use of these icebreaker questions and icebreaker techniques. Now, here's a short sample of some of the cards and icebreakers to use in your class. When is your birthday? What do you like to do in the summer? What did you do this weekend? What do you like to play outside? What is your favorite color? You can check them out in the links below and tell me, what's your favorite icebreaker question in the comment box below? Let's get a whole gallery of questions for teachers to use in their online classroom. Now, I hope this video helps you find the fun in online teaching. If it did, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos about online teaching. In the words of my hero, Mr. Rogers, let's make the most of this beautiful day. I'll see you in the classroom.